healthy digestion pack. I, I'm yeah. packing. Okay. Well, hang on. I'm not attacking you. I'm trying to work with you here, ma'am, so don't worry about it. Here's the deal with diarrhea, okay? Diarrhea means the body is trying to expel something it doesn't like. Or diarrhea can mean that you're not absorbing minerals, one or the other, or both. So uh, when you have chronic diarrhea or long-term diarrhea or even occasional diarrhea, you've got to look to what you ate that your body feels as a poison it is telling you to get rid of. Does that make sense? The only thing I really eat is chicken. Well, you don't, you don't have to do it right now with me. If you like, I'll work with you. You send me an email with your phone, I'm going to work with you, but I want to point you in the right direction, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. You want to focus on something that the body is attempting to eliminate. Now, it could be something in spinach. It could be something in lettuce. It could be something in bagels. It could be something in cereal. It could be something in anything, really. But the point is, is after you have a loose stool, write down in your, in your little, get yourself a little notebook and write down what you ate a couple of hours before you had the loose stool even three, four, five hours before you have the loose stool. And keep doing it. It may take you three or four or five loose stools to figure out, oh, my gosh, every time I have corn, I have diarrhea. Every time I have oatmeal, I have diarrhea. Every time I have oranges, I have diarrhea. So you're going to have to make that link for yourself, but I'm pointing you in the right direction. The second thing is, if you are on the Healthy Star Pack, and that includes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, did you say the Healthy Digestion or Healthy Start? I'm on the blood sugar, the digestion, and um, selenium. Okay, and you're, you're taking the BTT, though, or, or the Ultimate Classic, one of the mineral drinks? BTT. Okay, so it may be that you're not absorbing minerals. And as we've said before, if you don't absorb minerals, they'll pass through your intestine. And they'll cause a little bit of diarrhea. Either way, your diarrhea, your loose stool, is your best friend in the world. It's, it's, it's better for you than any doctor. It's better for you than any pharmacist on the radio. It's better for you than anybody because it is your own personal health guide. It's your own own personal health guru. Your diarrhea is your health guru because your diarrhea will tell you when you're on the right track or when you're on the wrong track. Does that make sense? You follow, you follow that logic? I do. Your loose, your loose stool is your best indicator to what you're eating incorrectly. Every time you have a loose stool, backtrack what did you eat and then, elim- and then that's a food that you need to eliminate. If you're not on the absolute finest probiotic you could find, which I consider to be the nightly essence from longevity, if you're not on an 80 billion units a day, start today. Don't waste any time. Get yourself on an 80 billion unit, uh, 80 billion unit a day multiple strain of bacteria probiotic program, and then use fermented foods all day long. That is miso, tempeh, kimchi, um, uh, natto soup, any tofu, anything that's fermented. Actually, I don't think tofu is fermented. Scratch that. Anything that's fermented. Cabbage soup is wonderful for soothing the digestive tract. Uh, cabbage juices can be helpful if you don't have a Vitamix. Use, uh, use. Get yourself a Vitamix and make yourself veggie soup. Keeping in mind, however, you can have a loose stool, you can have digestive problems in response to vegetation and plants just as much as you can to milk and to, to grains and to uh, more classically, uh, more classic associated digestive uh, triggers. So uh, vegetables can be a problem, fruits can be a problem. You just have to see what's problematic for you. All right, so focus on the digestive system, number one. If you want to do something for your immune system directly, use vitamin C, but caution with too much vitamin C because... Uh, too much vitamin C can cause loose stool. So if you're going to use vitamin C, try and do it in divided doses. Vitamin E, 400 international units a day. If you're not on vitamin E, very, very important for the immune system, as is zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate, and magnesium, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. The osteomag from longevity, by the way, is a real neat form of magnesium. Um, it's uh, magnesium glycinate, which is one of the better forms of magnesium. Last but most certainly not least, for all immune problems and digestive problems, I would be using the Z-Radical two or three capfuls a day. Now, you stay on, stay on the selenium. That's also very important for, uh, for the immune system. And there's tons more you could do, but that's, that'll give you a good start. Uh, most importantly, however, focus on what is getting into your body that's triggering this stress response. That's what you got going on, my dear. You have a stress response, and it could easily be secondary to the pharmacology that, uh, that you were taking, the pharmaceutical drugs that you were taking. So uh, something is triggering a stress response and uh, it's activating the immune system and that's where your lichen sclerosis is coming from as well as probably all of the other symptoms that you're dealing with and you're welcome to shoot me an email and if you put your phone number on there give me a few days and I'll get back to you and I'll work with you personally okay Pam? Thank you so much Thank you, God God bless, good luck with everything All right, D in Virginia got about a minute Uh, if we can't can't finish up you can call back tomorrow what's up D? 
Hey, um, just want to know what to do to reverse uh, vitiligo. I have it very moderately on my hands. Well, more yeah. extreme on my hands, but moderately. Autoimmune, autoimmune disease. Exactly the same thing as we were talking about with Pam from Michigan. Vitiligo is when the body attacks and kills its own pigment-making cells, leaving you with white patches of no pigment. Now, you have to know, my dear, that you have other symptoms going on in your body, especially digestive symptoms. Correct, Amundo? Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, well, that's where, I'm not saying that's beat up on you, D. I'm just trying to get to the source of this thing. Autoimmunity, and I explained, I'll probably go over it again tomorrow. We explained it for the last couple of days. When little pieces of food are not digested properly, they leak into the blood and they initiate an immune response. Because food, particles of food, look like the body. When the body's, uh, when the immune system attacks these particles of food, which are perceived as the enemy, Sometimes there's cross-reactivity with the tissues of the body or the cells of the body. Vitiligo is when the body attacks melanocytes, which is pigment-making cells. And when these pigment-making cells get attacked and get killed, they can't make pigment anymore, you end up with white spots. So first and foremost, and I hate to beat a dead horse here, but you've got to focus on the digestive system with all autoimmunity. We'll, uh, we'll talk some more about this tomorrow. So if you didn't catch, quite catch everything I was saying, we'll do it first thing in the, uh, first thing on the program tomorrow. And also, D, you're welcome to call back, and I'll get you first in line, and I'll tell you a couple things that you can do directly for dealing with vitiligo. All right, uh, and by the way, gluten intolerance and vitiligo, and grain intolerance and vitiligo go hand in hand. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Farm, Mrs. Ben. Thank you so much, folks, for listening. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. 